Rugby is the most physically demanding, mentally grueling, adrenaline pumping sport on the planet. 80 unrelenting minutes. No helmets, no pads. Played in over 100 countries across every continent. Come on! And New Zealand's All Blacks have dominated international rugby for over a century. But after winning the 2015 World Cup, they lost a third of their players, including half a dozen of the biggest legends to ever wear the famous black jersey. After 14 years and 148 tests, our greatest ever captain, Richie McCaws, walked away from international rugby. It is the end for Dan Carter after 112 test caps. Kevin Mialamu, Tony Woodcock, Conrad Smith and Ma'anonu also bow up. One year later, and this is a new All Blacks era. Now, for the first time, this notoriously secretive team is pulling back the black curtain. Great. So I just talked right there. Sweet. That is your playing rugby. How's that? We go on tour with the All Blacks as they battle to keep their status as the team with the highest winning record in the world. We've got to start working harder, because if we turn up like we are today, they'll kill us. We're asking people to be warriors, and we're having to learn as a young team how to cope with it. Four of the most challenging months in the history of the team. Damien, that's bullshit. Give us 20 push-ups. You want to throw the ball away like that? All Blacks flanker Jerome Kaino has been grilled by the British media. The allegations of spying have marred the build-up to tonight's Bledisloe Cup test. The team's paid a big price for him making a mistake. It was the worst feeling ever. Uh, let someone pass away. And this will be a yellow card. It has to be. A red card for Sonny Bill Williams. It's something that I have to live with for the rest of my life. Three trophies and opponents from seven of rugby's strongest nations. Every one of them desperate to do one thing. Beat the best team in the world and bring the 100-year dynasty down.